In 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope captured something that shouldn't exist. 341 faint red points scattered across the infant universe, more than 12 billion light years away. At first, astronomers thought they were simple. Distant galaxies, perhaps early stars, compact, unremarkable. Then they looked closer. Nearly 30% of these objects aren't dots at all. They're irregular, clumpy, diffuse structures radiating infrared light with an intensity that defies every model of early cosmic evolution. Dr. Ava Schinnerer at the Max Planck Institute called them some of the most enigmatic objects in the universe. Here's why. These little red dots, LRDs, formed between 600 million and 1.6 billion years after the Big Bang, a cosmic eye blink, yet they host super massive black holes. Black holes that shouldn't have had time to grow this massive. Three anomalies emerged. First, their spectral signatures show a V-shaped Balmer break. Think of a sharp V carved into a rainbow, the fingerprint of dense, energized gas, not seen in typical galaxies. Second, they lack X-ray emissions, even though they appear to contain active black holes. Third, their chaotic morphology suggests turbulence on scales we've never observed in early galaxies. As Dr. John O'Meara at the Space Telescope Science Institute put it, JWST has thrust open the doors to the early universe, revealing a chaotic, turbulent time where galaxies were far less orderly than we imagined. But here's the question that haunts every observation. If these aren't ordinary galaxies, what are they? Let's establish what we know with precision. JWST's near-infrared camera identified 341 LRDs at the absolute limits of its sensitivity. These objects emit primarily in infrared wavelengths, light stretched by 12 billion years of cosmic expansion. For perspective, this is equivalent to observing a candle flame from across the entire continental United States. Ultraviolet imaging revealed the first major surprise. These aren't point sources. High-resolution follow-ups from the RUBIES project indicate irregular, extended structures. One object, nicknamed the Cliff, shows unusual redshifted ultraviolet features consistent with extreme early universe conditions. According to early JWST survey results reported in 2025, LRDs appear compact at infrared wavelengths, roughly 2,000 light years across, smaller than the Milky Way's core, yet their infrared luminosity rivals entire galaxies. Here's where the models broke down. Standard timelines predict supermassive black holes grow gradually, accreting matter over hundreds of millions of years. But LRDs seem to host black holes already weighing millions to tens of millions of solar masses in a universe barely half a billion years old. Dr. Avi Loeb at Harvard stated, these observations give us a first glimpse of the universe's earliest supermassive black holes, forcing us to rethink how such massive objects could grow so quickly. In the infant cosmos, the University of Cambridge's analysis added another layer. LRDs exhibit messy galactic structures, intense star formation, gravitational instabilities, chaotic gas dynamics, unlike the settled spiral and elliptical galaxies dominating the modern universe. This challenges core assumptions in galactic evolution. Early galaxies weren't calm incubators of stars. They were turbulent, violent cauldrons where black holes and stellar populations fought for dominance. But the data revealed an unexpected pattern. So why do the engines look loud in infrared yet the usual sound is missing. LRDs emit strongly in infrared, yet most lack the X-ray signatures typical of active galactic nuclei. That's like seeing a roaring engine behind walls thick enough to muffle the noise. Remember that anomaly from the hook, the V-shaped Balmer break? That spectral V points to dense gas clouds around a central power source, hot enough to ionize hydrogen, yet oddly quiet in X-rays. Which brings us to a provisional resolution. LRDs are not simple galaxies. They're hybrids, something between a forming galaxy and a shrouded black hole cocoon. According to peer-reviewed studies and team reports from the Max Planck community and NASA's JWST science groups, these objects likely represent a previously unrecognized phase in cosmic evolution. Two competing models emerged in the literature.
Model 1, Compact Starburst Galaxies. Researchers at Cambridge propose LRDs are ultra-dense young galaxies packed with massive stars. Gravitational instabilities compress gas to extreme densities, triggering star formation rates 100 times higher than the Milky Way. This explains the infrared luminosity. Dust heated by newborn stars radiates strongly in infrared. It explains the compact size. Early dark matter halos were smaller, confining star formation to tiny regions. However, this model struggles to account for the missing X-ray emissions. Young, massive stars and related processes produce X-rays. Intense star formation should light up detectors. Yet, JWST-linked follow-ups report. Model 2, Black Hole Cocoons. Theoretical work led by Dr. Andrea Ferrara and others proposes something stranger. A supermassive black hole, millions of solar masses, wrapped in a glowing shell of hot, dense gas, the radiation heats the cocoon to tens of thousands of degrees. It blazes in infrared, while thick layers suppress escaping X-rays. Such an object appears compact in infrared, radiates intensely, yet remains X-ray quiet. This echoes quasar feedback physics, black holes regulating galaxy growth, but pushed earlier and smaller. But this explanation meets a hard timeline constraint when we ask, how do you grow so fast? For a black hole to reach millions of solar masses in under a billion years requires accretion near the Eddington limit, the cosmic fill rate, where radiation pushes back like pressure resisting fuel poured too fast. Dr. Raffaella Schneider noted, the unique spectral features seen in these red dots imply a complex interplay of stellar populations and accreting black holes. Team A at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center suggests episodes of super Eddington feeding, streams of cold gas threading past radiation pressure. Team B at ESO's Very Large Telescope argues for heavy initial seeds, remnants of the first stars, population the three, that start far bigger, giving a head start. Neither, on its own, explains the clumpy, irregular morphologies. If early gas collapsed smoothly, why did these systems look like multiple processes fighting for control? One emerging view is that LRDs mark a transitional stage we haven't directly seen before. Consider this, in the universe's first billion years, gas was almost pure hydrogen and helium. Few heavy elements to radiate heat away efficiently. Gravity, magnetic fields, and feedback all ran in unfamiliar regimes. A wild card possibility, dark matter aided cocoons. If dark matter piled up around early black holes, rare annihilation or heating channels could inject energy without strong X-rays, powering infrared bright X-ray quiet shells. It's speculative, but it matches the odd mix of signals. The physics here operates at scales we can't test on Earth. Another possibility often discussed for seeds, population three, collapse. The first, metal-free giants, may have skipped standard supernovae and collapsed directly into black holes. In an LRD mid-collapse, you'd see intense infrared from infalling gas, asymmetric structures from chaotic flows, and weak X-rays until a hot disk stabilizes. Such conditions demand extremes, densities thousands of times higher, temperatures above 100,000 Kelvin, gravity near event horizon strengths. The question isn't whether nature could attempt these paths. It's whether our instruments can separate a forming black hole an obscured nucleus, and a compact starburst at 12 billion light years. Remember the second anomaly, the missing X-rays? Thick gas shells can absorb high energy photons and re-radiate as infrared. This Compton thick shrouding is known nearby, usually in evolved systems. If it appears this early, it implies rapid dust and gas buildup. Timelines were only beginning to constrain. Bottom line, Three live hypotheses await deeper spectra and wider surveys. We began with 341 faint red dots, simple points of light. We found complex, clumpy structures hosting black holes that grew implausibly fast, pressuring decades of galaxy formation models. We staged a duel, ultra-dense starbursts versus shrouded black hole cocoons. Each explains part of the puzzle and fails elsewhere, and we stepped into frontier ideas. 
dark matter-aided cocoons, POP3 collapse, and heavy obscuration in the primordial universe. The mechanism remains elusive. Three competing pictures need more data. What we do know, LRDs mark a watershed moment. The early universe looks more turbulent, chaotic, and violent than the tidy stories we told. JWST's extended observations through 2026 aim to secure spectra for hundreds more LRDs. Chemical abundances, gas velocities, black hole masses with tighter errors. NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, slated for 2027, will expand sky coverage by orders of magnitude, testing whether LRDs are rare or routine. The extremely large telescope, targeted around 2028, should resolve star-forming clumps inside LRDs, discriminating starburst light from black hole power. Planned programs in 2026 will also probe X-ray absorption more sensitively, checking whether Compton thick gas truly explains the silence. The answers depend on the next wave of measurements. What seemed impossible, infant supermassive black holes became observable. What appeared simple, distant red points, revealed intricate structure. The universe keeps its rules, but we're only now stress testing them at these scales. JWST is slated for additional late 2025 exposure on these fields, targeting spectral features that separate cocoons from compact starbursts. Subscribe to follow the data as it arrives and help decide whether LRDs are a new class of objects or just the violent youth of galaxies like our own. Next video, how astronomers disentangle black hole radiation from stellar light using spectroscopy, the method behind these discoveries. In Cosmos, we trust.